when you did the Justin Bieber interview, a few things stood out for me. And the biggest one of them all is I kind of felt like you were patronizing him a little bit in your line of questioning. I think one that stands out the most was when you asked him what is the one thing that he carries with him a lot because he took out the note taking him. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. this is going well. Then he took out his cell phone. Then he said, ah, oh, typical teenager. Then you can see it in his eyes. Then his whole vibe changes because he's like, you know, I had to go through this new haircut. I've got a brand new video where I don't do kitty things anymore. I drive a Mustang and I'm there with the cool kids. And here's this presenter calling me a typical teenager. The other thing is you're very young. You know about social media. You know how big it is on social media. I think you could have easily taken advantage of that. You could have asked him to tweet you and help you along in the competition. Hashtag the My Top Billing Dream and actually put your name out there. The first thing you should have said to him is, I'm here because I am a finalist in a mm. presenter search. The way YouTube helped you as a teenager, this is my big break. I can make it on television. If this interview goes really well, please can you help me? And that information was communicated to him at the end of the interview. She's in the final to do to be one of the presenters. So yeah. this is one of the, the competitions she won, one of the challenges. Yeah. Yeah. But out of my league though, I'm the youngest one there. Oh, yeah. So when it had all gone, the opportunity had gone. But he was such an amazing guy. He would have given you mm. the best interview had you said, mm. listen, it's my first interview. It's for this competition. He would have fed you with information until you were blue in the face. I did actually say that to him before <coughs> cameras were rolling because he could see how nervous I was. And he was like, why are you so nervous? No, I, I saw that. It was, the cameras were rolling uh. and he said, this is my first interview. <sighs> Have I said it? No. Yeah. So do I. I never lie. So this is your first interview? With the celeb, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But then it looked like somebody from South Africa sent a rookie to interview me. Because he didn't understand it's for a competition, it's for a TV show that we're selecting a new presenter. We get such incredible opportunities on this show. Really, some of the top journalists in this country wouldn't get an opportunity with Viva. And you missed that opportunity. And it's sad because those opportunities happen all the time on this show. That when you get them, you're sharing it with an audience who most people haven't even travelled overseas before. You've got to be humble about it. And you've got to give them that experience from their couch. We're coming down on you hard, but mm-hmm. we're not saying that you're the worst presenter before that. Mm-hmm. You're great. You're in the we're coming five. down on you hard because you could have been amazing. It's gotta come true tonight.